just general thoughts to, I mean, you guys come in here, only one loss in the season so far, get your second tonight when Portland really needed the points. So what does that do for the Chicago Fire going for Chicago Red Stars going forward? Well, this time last year when we were matched up against Portland, we're in the exact opposite position. And um, our team has done really well at the end of the last few seasons, catching up at the end, you know, playing when you have to win. And uh, I think that gives you something as a team. And now we're kind of on the other end of it where we've done really well, we're in a good spot, we've had a lot of new players come in, and we're kind of working on that adjustment. Um, and we have a few games in hand go, like, uh, in terms of where we need to be to get into the playoffs. Um, but we need to kind of switch our momentum and you know, take, take three points when we play teams um, like this in this kind of environment because that's what it takes to win in the end. Um, and these experiences are really good for us. I think, and there are learning opportunities for our squad and for our rookies who've never played in an environment like this. Um, but I think that the nerves were there. Uh, we were really shaky at start, and if we come back, you know, the goal is to be back here. And if we come back, we can't have a performance like that. We talk about the difference um, playing in a stadium like Providence versus playing out in Lyle. I mean, it's got to be a completely different world, a smaller stadium versus in front of almost 16,000 tonight. Yeah, I think playing in Portland is the best game of the season every year. The, the crowd, the professionalism, um, the whole experience is just above and beyond. When you go out after the game, everyone you know on the streets, they know who you are, and that's something that professionals generally experience. But here in our new league, we really just get it in Portland. So it's a special experience for us. It's also kind of has an effect on the game, as I said before. Girls aren't used to playing in this type of environment, and it takes a little bit getting used to before you can shake out the cobwebs and play to your full potential. Obviously, in the environment, there's definitely been a big boost in interest and excitement. Um, the fans have been phenomenal supporting us, and it's always great to see. You know, your team's jersey at away at away venues or the national team jerseys. We feel so much support and gratitude from the country and you know we try to give that back in any way we can and then the important thing is just to keep coming out keep supporting we're, we're trying to grow the game we're trying to take this league and we're going to stop the united states to the next level what's it like um trying to integrate all the you and all the players back in <clears throat> coming back from the world cup ready to do a playoff race i think it's been hard i don't know how it's been for every team but for our team it's definitely taken a little while to get us reset and going. Um, it's sort of been like we're in preseason again. The team did really well before we left, did really well when we were gone, and now we kind of hit a rough patch. And I think that's just getting used to the players, getting that chemistry, trusting each other. Um, those are the things that make the Chicago Red Stars strive and have success. And we've kind of lost our way a little bit with that. And we have, I think, five games less left in the season. And I think we have to find our start again, we have to hit maximum capacity for us to have a chance at winning the, the title. Last one. You mentioned that <clears throat> the league got a huge boost from the win in the World Cup. Looking forward to Rio next year, do you feel that a win there by the U.S. Women's National Team could really help solidify this league for the long term moving forward? You like to think that. You like to think that um, just having success in soccer and having that excitement translates, but to be honest, it's impossible to predict what will, what will happen. I think that part of the reason when we put on our national team jersey, we feel so much pride is because we do um, care about the state of our game in our country. And we hope that you know if people catch us playing in the Olympics and they like it, then they will watch us play in our domestic leagues and see all the amazing players that don't even play for their countries but are playing in these leagues. Um, and that's the hope and that's the goal, but you can never predict it because they won the last Olympics and there was no league. Thank you, Kristen. Appreciate Thank you. it. Thank you.